goodness! Run! Please run! Oh my god! Ah. We got a good thing. You know if I'ma see you again. Hi everybody, my name is Amber and I am the Black Directioner. Okay, so happy November. Since it's not October anymore, I took all my October stuff down and I just wanted to show everybody my new background. That's a new 1D poster that I bought from Walmart, and I'm, I'm so in love with it. And then these are my paintings, and I just thought it was really, really cute, so I have it behind me. <laughs> okay, so I hope everybody had an awesome Halloween. It is November the 2nd, so, you know, we only have this month and next month left, and then 2016, you know, I know everybody's excited that 2015 is going to be over. At least I know all the directioners are excited that 2015 is going to be over. Um, the boys have officially went on their break. You know, we just got a lot of things going on. You know, the album comes out next week and just explosives, just explosives. Speaking of the album, um, I came up with this, with a couple tips that I was going to be giving people um, that I wrote up a couple weeks ago and that I've been so excited to finally do and to finally show and to finally maybe even help some people. So um, today what we're going to be talking about is how to prepare yourself for One Direction's album Made in the AM. I have nine different tips that I'm going to just suggest to everybody and to anybody who's watching um, on how I think would be really cool. You know, I think it'd be really fun to uh, prepare for Made in the AM like this. And I think it probably would even be really helpful. You know, I don't like that Niall's not in it. That's bothering me. Like, I'm, I'm, all, in, I'm all in front of him. Like, I am not a member of One Direction. Now, if I was... <laughs> Okay, off topic, let's get back on topic. Okay, so we're just, I'm just going to be telling y'all a couple tips on what I think would be very, very useful to do for uh, preparation of the album since we do have a full, since we do have more than a week left. So, okay, let's do this. Okay, so the first tip I'm giving everybody is to listen to all of the One Direction songs from Up All Night to four. You know, even if there's like a couple of songs that you're not really that into, you know, like even if there's a couple songs where you're just kind of like, eh, you know, the, the songs that you skip low key, you know, still listen to those anyway. Listen to every single song that is on their first album to their fourth album. Like, listen to how much their songs have matured lyrically. It will also make Made in the AM more exciting because they're just, they're gonna mature even more and it's just gonna sound different and just, oh. The second thing that I suggest that I think will be fun is to listen to all of their bonus tracks, such as Magic and Irresistible, even to their perfect EP. Those are considered bonus tracks as well because they didn't make it to the album. I think this is more of like a fun experience because a lot of fans haven't heard all of their um, bonus tracks, which you know is okay. That's absolutely fine if you have not heard even any of their bonus tracks. That's fine. It just makes it even cooler if you just like go listen to them, you know, go listen to how they did sound in their bonus tracks and go listen to the things that didn't make it to any of their albums because they actually had some really good music that I think should have made it. The third tip is to re-listen to all of their singles that they released, such as Perfect and Drag Me Down. Because it just seemed like the more that you listen to it, the deeper that you start to hear messages that they were trying to send that you didn't necessarily hear the first time. Like I'm talking like you just gotta chill and you just gotta listen to it. And it will just, it will honestly even make you more excited to get ready for this album because you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, Perfect makes me feel some type of way. Infinity makes me feel some type of way. Home makes me feel some type of way. So I gotta listen to this. Like I just gotta really focus on what's being said. Okay, so the fourth tip is to have a CD plan. So like for those who didn't pre-order the album, which you know, I'm, I'm one of those people, not even gonna lie. I didn't pre-order it because I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the hand copy, you know, like I know some people pre-order it and and get the full and get the actual legit copy I understand that I get that but that's not what that's not what I do I go and get the physical copy so the tip that I'm giving you is that if you're going to do what I do and if you're going to go get the physical copy I suggest that you go and get your CD early like because it, it's, it's a very 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 big possibility that it just might be sold out if you wait too long you have to go get it you know, it comes out on Friday, you gotta go get it that morning before you go to school or before you go to class or before you go to work because if you try to get it later on after that, there's a huge possibility it's not gonna be there because Midnight Memories was sold out for me because I waited until after school to go get it. So I'm just suggesting Go and get that bitch early, okay? And you know, if you can't, like if you don't drive or anything like that, then it would be ideal to ask 
like your parent or your guardian or whatever, you know, whoever takes care of you that's older that doesn't fully hate the fact that you're into One Direction, you know, give them your money and then they'll go and get it before they do whatever they need to do. You know what I mean? Moral of the tip, get your CD early as fuck. So the fifth tip is money, money, money. It is very important to make sure that you have the right amount of money. If you're getting the regular one, if you're getting just the regular album that's not the deluxe, it's usually maybe about $14, $15. I don't know what it is um, if you pre-order it. I don't know what it is online. I'm just saying physically, it's usually about $14, $15, maybe even $16. If you're getting the deluxe, because I always get the deluxe, if you're getting the deluxe, it's usually about maybe $23, $24. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, maybe they dropped their prices. Maybe they made them higher. But Midnight Memories and 4, for me, were about $23, $24. So I'm just letting everybody know in advance to make sure that you have that money for it. The next tip that I suggest is to be alone. Now, what I mean by being alone is that I personally think that it would just make the experience better if you listen to the album while you're by yourself i mean unless like you and your friends are having a listen party you know like all y'all are really really close into one direction and everything like that or you and your sister or brother or whatever you know cousin anything like that but unless it's something like that i just suggest that you should be somewhere where you're by yourself where you are in complete and utter silence so that you can focus on the album so that you can focus on what they're saying because if you're not focusing then you're gonna miss a whole bunch of things and you're not gonna see it until you know you log into instagram and you're like wait when did niall say that what what i wasn't paying attention no it's just it's better if you're just by yourself if you're in silence you know or you can even go and pop it in the cd player in your car like not in your car in the family car whatever like in a car and just be in there and just listen to it and just chill you know the next tip um would have to be the playlist what i again what i think would be really really cool is if you um look over the playlist if you haven't already if you go and look over it again and pick maybe three or four songs that have titles that really really jump out at you that you really feel like you're going to be excited to listen to and just focus on those because whenever those songs come around while you're listening to the album you're just going to be more excited you know like clouds was the one that i picked out i was like oh cloud sounds like it's <laughs> sounds like it's pretty badass and you know i was more excited whenever i finally got to listen to it and it ended up becoming my favorite one from four so you know i just think it would be cool if you pick out a couple songs like me i think olivia is gonna be badass like honestly like i i'm ready to hear olivia and i'm ready to hear history and i'm ready to hear um Dang, what was Louis' song? Louis' song? I, don't, I forgot the title of it already. See, I need to go back and look. Um, but the song that Louis mainly wrote on, I'm ready to hear that one. You know, I'm just, I'm ready to just. <clears throat> the next tip I think is kind of funny, um, but I also think it would probably maybe even help some people. The next tip is to think. You ever had that time where, whether if you're in this fandom or any fandom, you just sit back and reevaluate your life and think, why? Did I even join this fandom? I think you should do that before you do this prep because One Direction have put us through so much <laughs> during 2015 alone. Like this is the longest year. Like it seems like it should have been over by now, you know? We still got two more months. So it's like, dang, what is going on? So it would just, it would just be better off if you would just sit there and just think and reevaluate why the hell you even became a directioner and why you're still here. <laughs> the last and final tip is beyond the hardest one and that would be controlling your mental. Mentally preparing yourself is by far the most challenging thing to do whenever an album is about to come out for somebody that you are really, really into. Cause you're already gonna be freaking out. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, the play button is starting, you know? And then the very first song is Hey Angel. I know everybody been, a lot of people have been really ready to hear that song. I already know that a lot of people are going to be freaking out the moment that they play this album, because I know I am. So it's just better. The main thing that you need to do is breathe. <laughs> Don't ever forget to breathe. It's already hard to explain what else to do because everybody's mental state is different. So it's just ideal to breathe like legitly like you know just breathe prepare yourself just a little bit just be like okay i'm about to play made in the am oh my god 
what's about to go, oh my goodness, you know, and then whenever you start, oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, whenever you start doing that, you got to stop and you got to breathe, you got to breathe, you know, and, and just, just say something to yourself, you know, okay, One Direction just released an album and I'm okay, I'm okay, if you keep telling yourself you're okay, you're gonna be okay, okay, and as long as you remember to breathe, you will survive this, so I hope these tips help just make sure that you take precaution just make sure that you are mentally ready relax and do you and these tips should help you know if you follow them and you should be good thank you guys for watching i hope y'all enjoyed i will definitely see y'all in my next video for people who don't know i am going to be reviewing um little mix's album which comes out in a couple days and i'm going to be reviewing justin bieber's album and one direction's album so if you want to stick around for that feel free to hit the subscribe button and become a sour and join our community because we're awesome as fuck um i also reviewed the four album and i'm gonna put the link down below that has to the little playlist of me reviewing all that or whatever so i hope you guys have an awesome day an amazing day remember there were five days but jimmy only protested for one and jimmy knew what to do because he remembered to breathe, okay? <laughs> That's the main thing, remember to breathe, okay? And you will be good. You will be good. Bye, guys. No, but honestly, I don't think any of us are going to be breathing that much. You know, One Direction intend to kill us. So, there's no way to mentally prepare for that shit. So, we're all just gonna die. We're all just gonna die together. And we're gonna live peacefully. And... You know, we're still gonna be 1D as fuck. That's just how that's just how the world is gonna end.